the finale juvenile hurdle is next. This is a grade one juvenile hurdle. We've already had a grade two juvenile hurdle this week, so the top ones are probably in this one. And at the top, it's Centre Parks for David Hooley, Cool Hollander for Martin Leader, Mount Pleasant, Paul Rome, St Nicholas at Wade, Darren Thompson, Anne Marie's Bling for Stu Gray's a newcomer, Beyond the Rocks, Leon Van Rensburg, Midris Fast for David Robertson, and Solo Epaulette for Padre Hogan, both making their debuts as well. And Sparkling Riches for Craig Beckwith makes up the nine. So Nice mix of new and old in this then. Away they go, one or two got some experience, five or six races under their belt, and a few of them making their seasonal debut, or well, not just their seasonal debut, their total debut, and they all get over the first of the night, and they're making their way towards the second. It's a baptism of fire for them, of course, and straight into a grade one. There was the option to go into the grade two yesterday, so the trainers made the choice, and it's beyond the rocks in the lead. From Sparkling Riches, who's about three lengths back in second, but the leader is clear. The rest of them are pretty tightly packed. The back marker at this early stage is Anne Marie's Bling. And I'll take this opportunity to tell you I had a text message from Stu today asking me to make sure that everybody knows he did not name that horse yesterday after Harry Maguire. Harry's your man, and as a Manchester United supporter, I think that means that Harry is definitely not. Stu's man at Manchester United says so beyond the rocks in the lead I'm not surprised after last night to be honest anyway it's beyond the rocks in the lead with Centre Park second and then Mount Pleasant third in Midris Fast is after that one with Cool Highlander on the outside as they get to the second and they're all safely over the second with beyond the rocks the clear leader by a good five lengths to Centre Parks in the purple jacket in second. They're all safely over to third, all hurdling well, even the newcomers. And Beyond the Rocks continues to lead. Midris Fast is second as they get to the fourth. Then Cool Highlander in third place for the stable, the finish first and second in the grade two yesterday. So whether this one is a better prospect than those two remains to be seen. Closest to us is Sparkling Riches, who's in fourth. Then comes David Hooley's Centre Parks. Mount Pleasant is after that one. A little gap to the back three. And with Solo Epaulette and Anne Marie's Bling and St Nicholas at Wade. They're racing downhill into the final mile then. And beyond the rocks is the clear leader by a good two lengths or so to Cool Hollander and Midris Fast. They were running together. And on the outside of them, Sparkling Riches. Centre Parks is on the inside with on the inside of that one of the rail. Mount Pleasant and St Nicholas at Wade who's trying to join that group. The two are just finding the pace a little hot at the moment. Are two of the newcomers, Solo Epaulette and Anne-Marie's Bling. But it's beyond the rocks in front. With just a little over five to go. Furlongs, that is, not flights. And it's beyond the rocks in front from Cool Hollander second. And Mount Pleasant is next in Midris Fast and Centre Parks. Almost four in a line chasing this leader who's just kicked on again now as he races down towards the third lap, fourth last. Over he goes and it's beyond the rocks in the lead from Cool Hollander in second. Then Centre Parks and mid wrist fast. And then St Nicholas at Wade is making some good ground on the outside. They're closing on the leader as he gets over to third last. It's beyond the rocks in front. Cool Hollander though coming through to challenge. Mid wrist fast between the two of them. Then comes Centre Parks in Mount Pleasant racing down here to the second last then. And over it they go. Good jump by the leader beyond the rocks. Regains his two length lead from Cool Hollander in second, Midris Fast is coming through with a challenge, then comes Cool Hollander in centre parks, racing down towards the final flight then, and Beyond the Rocks has led all the way, Beyond the Rocks into the final flight with a lead of a length, gets over it nicely, better jump though by Midris Fast and Cool Hollander, St Nicholas at Wade throwing down a big challenge on the outside, centre parks isn't beaten yet, they're racing inside the final half furlong and it's Midris Fast from Cool Hollander and St Nicholas at Wade on the outside, as they come towards it on St Nicholas at Wade's got up to take it from Midris Fast and then Cool Hollander, a long time leader beyond the joke, drop right back and it's St Nicholas at Wade who's probably just staking the claim there to be the leading juvenile so far a good win the other week as well and took that by about a length a quite clever ride while the jockey stayed out of the way for most of the time and will be creeping up even higher on those weights I would think St Nicholas at Wade for Darren Thompson the winner Midris fast for David Robertson a good performance from another one of his newcomers in second Cool Hollander Martin Lennon was third Centre Parks David Uli fourth and the long time leader beyond the rocks or Leon Van Rensburg was fifth <laughs>